Will we use AI to destroy humanity or uplift it? There are so many people out there who are worried about AI. They're so concerned about AI. The first big concern about AI is jobs. Now I can say to you that this has happened a hundred times before, every single solitary time that there is a technological disruption like the Industrial Revolution, like the Information Resolution, Revolution, like the Internet, like the smartphone. Whenever there's been a technological disruption, on the front side of the technological disruption, before the technological disruption hits really hard, there's all these dire predictions that this horrible thing's going to happen, and this horrible thing's going to happen, this horrible thing's going to happen if we implement this thing. And it typically starts with jobs. Oh, so many jobs will be eliminated if XYZ technology is implemented. This happens every time. Before the technology is implemented, there's so, so much panic that jobs will be eliminated. But then after the technology is implemented, suddenly there's 10 times more jobs that were never even conceived of prior to the technological disruption. I'll give you an example. Go back to 1992. Go, jump in your time machine and go back to 1992 and say, I... I got a job as a web developer. People are going to say to you, what the hell is that? You work with spiders? You see what I'm saying? So many jobs have been created from every, every single time we have a technological disruption. Jobs are lost, but 10 times more jobs are created. Why would it be any different with AI? Why would it be any different with AI? AI still needs to be fed, AI still needs to be cared for, and we're not going to be having an AI. Maybe it should replace some jobs. I've said this before. If you're in a job that AI can replace, then maybe you as a human being shouldn't be doing that job at all. Maybe an AI should be doing that job and you can use your big brain for something completely different. I'm an optimist. I'm an accelerationist. I see, think that we can use technology. We can use technology to improve humanity, to uplift humanity. And if you look underneath the covers, underneath all of the media hysteria about drones, automated drones, terminators, all this horrible stuff that can go happen. If you look underneath it all, and you can see this on AI Daily, our sister publication, AIDaily.us, you can see that and this is what I try to, we try to curate this too. We try to pull these things out because each and every day there is another breakthrough that uplifts humanity. For all, for the 10 stories, for nine, nine out of 10 stories are, oh, this is horrible. Oh, this is awful. Oh, we need to sign pacts. Oh, we need to have regulation. Oh, we need to put guardrails on AI. For every nine stories that are like that, there's a single story which talks about saving people from heart attacks, about finding a new gene that eliminates some disease. AI is working quietly under the covers to make our lives so much better. But that's not the kind of stuff you hear about in the media. You hear about the job losses. You hear about how horrible things are going to get. You hear about automated drones. You hear about terminators. You don't hear about the good stuff that happens that AI, their AI is everywhere, underneath it all. Weather patterns, earthquake patterns, so many, it, it can be applied to so many places where it can reduce the amount of time it takes to research things and actually unearth new insights into how to do better for humanity, how to uplift humanity. But those stories are drowned out. So I'm here to say that it's, the news is not all bad. In fact, if the news were balanced, if it were, <laughs> we report, you decide. If they simply just reported that these things were going on in the AI space, then you might have an equal amount of, hey, look at all the good stuff that AI is doing. Look at all the positive things that technological progress is doing. 
and I'm firmly on the side of technological progress. This is, you know, <laughs> AI is not an alien thing. Human beings created it, and it consists of the knowledge of human beings. So if AI is going to destroy us, we're destroying ourselves. But like I said, all you ever hear about is the destruction. You never hear about all the good things that AI is doing. If you want to hear about the good things that AI is doing, I report it on AI Daily. Sure, I talk about the other stuff. But each and every day, there's something good happening in the world of AI. AI is doing something amazing, something human beings weren't able to do before. In fact, I think the other day, somebody said that they were able to create oxygen molecules on Mars using AI. Wouldn't it be great if someday we could populate the red planet? Wouldn't it be great if we could use it for other things? Because all of these, all of these discoveries can be used to uplift, a, uplift humanity or destroy humanity. It's up to us to decide which way to go. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future.